we're going? No. What's up everybody? It's JB holding it down right now at the East Toronto Masonic Temple. And right now is a setup where they're microchipping kids. They got hot dogs, they got hamburgers, they got sausages, they got bottled water, they got everything. So check it out. There they are. Well, we're Masonic Temple doing a child identification program. What we do is you take all the statistical information, the video picture, and give it back to the parents. And if the child is ever lost or missing, take the video of the CD to the police station and instantly flash it across other police stations. The only program going like this in today's age we need it. And here's our head man right here, our DGM, Elroy McKinnon. This is our deputy, this is the Grand Master of this area. Hi, he'll take over from here. The, uh, the Masons of the region, and particularly the Masons in this particular temple, are uh, hosting the child find, Sonic child find thing. Yeah. What happens is that um, if the parents bring in the children and register them, we have uh, them take uh, 10 digital fingerprints, uh, um, a wax plate, mouth uh, plate done by a dentist, mm -hmm. and um, still photos digital photos and uh, digital video, a video including the audio part. So the child uh, speaks to the uh, person who's doing the interview. Sure. Uh, once that is all done, uh, there's a, a paper printout with all that information and there's a CD uh, which is burned also containing information. That along with the uh, wax plate with the uh, DNA uh, embedded in it actually is given to the parent in a, a sealed envelope, take it home, and uh, we keep no records at all of what's gone on except for the set signed paper that the parent has given permission to have the, uh, the uh, child. Do the police keep records of that too? No, the police no? get no records of that. The only one who has a record of that is the parent. Okay, that's all right. The parent, the parent takes it home yeah. and hopefully puts it in a, in a very safe place and uh, we hope that they never have to miss it for anything. Yeah, but sure. in, in the event that a child does go missing, uh, this, this information can be given to the police and, and can be activated within a very few minutes actually, depending on the uh, technology that the police happen to have with them. If an amber alert is necessary, then the amber alert can be um, uh, issued with, the, with this, audio, with this uh, audio visual stuff from the CD-ROM, as well as the uh, photographs, the so digital photographs. And of course the, uh, the digital fingerprints then would be put to the uh, availability yeah. of the police at that time if, uh, the, uh, if the parent would approve. Yeah. Now, is it just within the Toronto Police Force, or does it go with the Peel, or what? Uh, is this a North the, American the, thing? The, the parent releases the, if, if the parent needs to release it, it releases to the police department, and if it's an Amber Alert, of course, it goes as far as the, the searchers wish to do. Right. Yeah. yeah, certainly. Yeah. I mean, it, it could be... A, um, it, it could be sent to Sudbury Police, Anywhere, it could, be, it could be to Vancouver, uh, it depends on where the thing is. Depends where it's necessary. Yeah, sure. So is this uh, the one of the only like? Is there any other Masonic temples in Toronto doing this? This is our this is our initial. One. This is the initial because this is uh, the East Toronto. So all of the East End of Toronto. This is the temple. The, the Masonic temple. This, this particular temple uh, is the has been here since 1928, uh, and it is the only Masonic temple uh, between Lee Side and um, Central Scarborough. Yeah, and there's a Scottish rite up in. Uh, Heal it, if I'm not mistaken, around there, or is uh, well, yeah. the Shriners. Yeah. The, the Shriners do meet in the, the Shrine Temple on Keel Street, but that's yeah. quite that's quite a distance from here. Yeah. That, that's actually in another district. That's yeah. in Toronto uh, West District. No, oh. I'm sorry, Toronto Humber Valley District. Uh, so, so there are five districts in, in Toronto. Uh, Toronto East goes from the Beaches area here out through Scarborough, Pickering, and Ajax. Yeah. Cool. In other words, there's a population of about a million people in the area that our our district covers. Awesome. Excellent. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And so, uh, we'll enjoy our, our sauce. Yeah, we got yes, it. yes, by all means. Thank you.
here we are, chilling out in the Freemason Temple of the East Side, Danforth and Main, right beside KFC. They were nice enough to let us into their lodge. We went into their uh, temple or whatever you call it. Uh, we weren't allowed to film, but it was still cool. They talked to us. Really nice guys here. Today I attended the, the child identification program and I must say it wasn't what I expected in the sense that I perceived that they would be implanting a microchip into the kids. Now luckily that wasn't the case. We talked to a lot of Masons, they're good brothers, they, we had a good time, we had some sausages, we had some hamburgers, we, uh, went, in we went inside the lodge, seen some nice symbolism, saw the temple. Saw the temple. Cleared up the uh, CD thing and everything. We did, so we did enough today, so. No chips, but uh. <laughs> There's the banquet hall for rent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we talked about that. So, <laughs> fucking stole that. <laughs>